All you can see is a tan line. How'd you lose your wedding ring? I don't know, but we're gonna go snorkel around and see if I lost it while I was swimming through a cave. <laughs> so you tempted fate thinking about throwing it into the pit in Dominica. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well have. <laughs> we couldn't find Will's ring, but instead of trying to scour the entire Atlantic Ocean for it, we took our buddies Luke and Meg up to Anagata to take them out for a full day of fishing. Well, it's another one of those sort of freak, crazy, calm days. We haven't been able to sail because there's just been no wind. So we've been motoring around and uh, tomorrow we are gonna go fishing off the North Drop, north of Anagata. sit on the porch and do this all day. <laughs> so this is our latest fishing gadget. My book said to buy the biggest pen senator reel I could afford and I took them very literally and spent $400. <laughs> I had no idea how big it was going to be. It is quite actually the size of my head. I've been afraid to use it, but we're about to reel it up. Tomorrow's the day. I actually don't have a rod that's big enough to be able to to hold this, so we're gonna try to attach it directly to the boat, which Will thinks is a terrible idea. But we're gonna try and listen to our purr. Yeah. Over over half a kilometer of line. It is time to mount the 12. But then of course we realized we had overfilled the reel, so there wasn't any room to put in the screws to mount it. Will had a great idea to dingy the line out so that we could unspool the reel so that there would be more room, and then reel him back in to practice our reeling technique. I don't think my 80 pound test is made for pulling in a dinghy. The last thing left to do was put the dinghy up on the bow, but in order to do that, Will wanted to clean the bottom. What are you doing, Will? I am about to flip the dinghy. Why? So I can clean the bottom without having to be underwater. <laughs> the new way to clean a dinghy, everyone. As discovered by As Captain Little marks. As discovered by a meme on Facebook. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Ooh, it's slippery. <laughs> <laughs> a pretty good technique. Yeah. A lot easier than doing this underwater, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ten. I learned that right in Hobie Cats. Got my pen Senator 12 behind me. Got the world's craziest, largest lure right there. That's for the big fish. And hopefully, we're gonna catch something awesome. Poor Meg's got crazy sun rash. Aww, poor baby. Bye -bye. Fishing expedition, Captain Will. I think we're gonna catch something. I don't know what. Get something. All right, we got our first bird swarm. It's it's about 8:45 right now. We've been out for a couple of hours and nothing, but we are following the birds. Right, Skipper, what's the plan? Uh huh. Drive right at them. And then circle. Yeah, as long as they stick around, so will we. There's some activity over there. Uh, yeah, he's on. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Look at him! It's on the lightest tackle, so. <laughs> he's the farthest out. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. And it was it was moving. It might be a tuna. Oh my god. You got this, Luke. Oh, Look at that. Nice job. So what, how big was the last fish you caught, Luke? Uh, it was about half the size of his tail, lengthwise. <laughs> how old are you? I was about eight. All right. Well, so, I think you graduated. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please <don't. laughs> In the past few months, I've gotten a lot of advice on how to process a catch. Um, so here are a few tips that really work for us that I'll share with you. Firstly, it's easiest to kill a fish, especially a tuna, by sticking an ice pick in through its brain. But we still use cheap vodka as a surefire way to stun the fish. It just makes the whole process easier. Okay, so we're, ble we're trying to bleed the fish because it's a tuna and it's caught. Secondly, if you've got a fish that's got very dark meat, like a tuna, you're going to want to bleed the fish. To do that, you make an incision behind the side fin, as well as in the gill plate. Both cuts should bleed freely, and then turn it over and do the same on the other side. So now we're going to let it go for about 10 minutes. Bloody footprints. These are my bloody footprints. I sliced myself. It's half cat blood, half tuna blood. We caught Luke's tuna right around a bird swarm, but we heard that for mahi, they tend to be around the sargassum slicks. Found a great sargassum slick, and within 30 minutes, had hooked on to a mahi three different times. You're gonna start leadering it when we get in close. We need to be pulling it in hand over hand. Okay. exhausting day. We're about to do sundowners and some mahi tuna sashimi. And this is going to be the plan for tomorrow too. Just tacos for lunch, sashimi. It's going to be great. October, so super soaked to eat it for dinner tonight. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Ooh, uh, that's Blimey too hot of a question. Yours is the blooming onion? Yeah, with bacon. Mm. That might be my favorite too, with the honey on it. It's Ooh. pretty delicious. Stoked for the pizza. Let's see, how's it look? 
smells delicious. Ooh, oh, it looks, looks really nice. good. Oh, that's really the good. that's the simple Jane with sausage and basil and mushroom. Yum. And then our second pie was the bloomin' onion, which ironically has no onion. Oh, We're still ooh. trying to figure that one out. But it is the workers at the Pizza Pie Boat's favorite. We are also gonna do our final round of Tijuana family fun. Boys versus girls, who, it's tied 1-1. One, one. Who it's the will match. reign? It's the, sure. it's the dudes. Yeah, it's we got, we're got. we gonna have 48 different clues. clues. Yeah. We're going for a big round. We're going a big round tonight. Thank you for hosting. Thank you for being. Thank you so much for hosting. Little by little, what about Kulose? <laughs> Hi, uh, this is uh, Admiral, Pirates of the Caribbean. Double <laughs> 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 door, right? That's what I thought it was. Is that double? What is the foot? Foot. Oh, rhythm, rhythmic gymnastics. Yeah! <laughs>